All right, y'all, in today's video, I'm gonna go over how to conduct your first oil change and subsequent oil changes on a Yamaha 250 show. Stay tuned, it's coming up. So thanks for clicking on this video. Lou here from Beyond the Bounce. This is a channel geared towards bass fishing and gear review. So if you like that sort of thing, click that subscribe button up top. Let's get into today's topic, which is talking about how to replace the oil on this beautiful Yamaha 250 ship. Okay guys, so I'm gonna give you a few items that you're gonna to need to complete this maintenance. You're gonna need rags, you're gonna need Yamaha OEM oil, about nine liters worth, but check your manual for all the specific details. You're gonna need a funnel to fill the oil. You're gonna need an extractor, a pump to pump out the oil. You're gonna need a container for that oil to go into. And then finally, you're gonna need a filter and a filter wrench. So step one in this process is a really simple part. You're gonna to need to remove the cowl. Now on this 250, there are three latches. You just unbuckle those three latches and lift it up. A tip for getting the cowl off by yourself is to tilt the motor up. If you tilt the motor up, then you can stand on the boat and easily pull the cowl off. Now that you've removed the cowl, go ahead and lower the motor back down into a level position. Once you have the cowl off, that's when you just need to do a visual inspection. Make sure there's no leaks or anything like that on the motor. Make sure nothing looks amiss. I'll be honest guys, most anything that's going on with this motor, I don't know. And likelihood out of the thousands of people who own boats out there, you probably don't know either. So, you know, just look, give it a visual inspection and then move on. After that, the next thing you're gonna need to do is to locate the oil filter and the dipstick. The dipstick is where you're gonna be extracting the oil from. So now that you have that located, what you're gonna to need to do is set up your oil extractor pump and remove the dipstick. Now, in order to set up the oil extractor pump, it's gonna indicate the direction for which the oil is gonna flow. And when you're ready, go ahead and insert this smaller hose of the oil extractor pump all the way down into the dipstick area. Now, before you start pumping, you're gonna to wanna to go up top and remove the oil fill cap That'll allow for the suction of oil and airflow to get through there to easily extract more oil. Next on the list, you're gonna to need to go ahead and fire up your oil pump. Now, some of these oil pumps are, are different. Some are gonna use your regular outlets. Uh, the one that I have actually hooks on to the battery terminal, terminals, and it's really easy. Just red to red, black to black on your cranking battery, and you're good to go. Now that you're pumping, just let it run. You'll start to see a difference in the tube that is going into the dipstick area when the oil starts to run out. So now you need to remove the oil extraction tube. Make sure you use a rag so you're not spilling oil all over the place. And from there, you're going to replace the filter. Now the filter could be on there pretty good. Uh, so this is where a filter wrench will come in very handy. Before you put the new filter on, make sure you take some oil some of the old oil and wet the O-ring down. This will help seat the oil filter properly. And finally, don't forget to replace the dipstick. So next you're gonna to need to go to the top of the motor. And this is where you're gonna use the funnel and your oil to fill to the recommended specifications of your motor. Now that you filled your motor with new oil, go ahead and replace the oil fill cap, put the cowling back on and dispose of your oil properly. A good tip is to next time when you're on the water, make sure to pull off the cowling after you've gone for a good run, check your oil, and check your oil filter to make sure everything is properly seated. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Y'all have a good one.